Hey guys, it's Jordan from Guns and Cars. Today I wanted to talk to you about the guns of SOCOM. Uh, what you see right in front of you are the three main guns of SOCOM. Of course there are more. And uh, I do have two uppers. I wouldn't call them complete guns or anything. But I do have one lower, shared lower that I can you know, easily switch each one of these uppers for. Uh, I really just wanted to put this video out there and tell you you don't have to sp uh, spend crazy buku money on clone building if you decide to do that. If that's your thing, you can go the route I did. There's plenty of cheap um, aftermarket type of places where you can buy all sorts of gun parts from. Um, what you see here probably saved me thousands. I mean, really thousands. Because the real clone issued types of rails, lights, lasers, and all sorts of different things would really stack up to that. And really, I spent hundreds instead of thousands. So you guys can, can say whatever you want. But at the end of the day, if you have something that looks pretty damn close to the real thing, and no one can really stop and like, unless they got close and checked out your guns up close and they don't see the proper markings of Colt and Knight's Armament and this and that, I mean, come on, guys. That's the only way you can really tell. I mean, look at this. I, I built this Mark 12 uh, Mod 1 type of upper. And there, there's obviously a couple things that look kind of wrong here, but I could really fix that if I wanted to. Uh, the first thing that stands out, uh, this is the primary arms, and we all know that they use Leopold scopes. And also a dedicated Mark 12 barrel. But as you can see, I have a faux suppressor on here. Very hard to tell the difference if you, and unless you, you really know your stuff. I even got this little bezel that can attach it. I've got a Mark 12 full length gas tube. I like to point point out that um, I had to drill the barrel for these both these two accessories to fit onto this barrel and then I pinned it and loctited it in place. So really if you you can't even really tell I painted this barrel myself a uh, heat resistant silver and if you can see in here maybe you can see it through the holes here there is the real gas tube or gas block excuse me right there painted silver and I cut a gas tube uh, like half length to fit right here and and uh, to fit up into here and you can't really even tell unless you got close just like this and look at this rail I got this from AliExpress paid maybe uh, I want to say 30 to 35 dollars or 40 bucks maybe at the most uh, plus shipping and the real rail is probably what I don't know um, under five hundred dollars or something barrel is barrel as well this is a precision barrel uh fluted heat so you know it's very good at dissipating heat two two three wild very accurate i pro i mean it won't be that accurate with the real five five six uh seventy seven grain ammunition that is supposed to shoot but guess what i never really shoot that anyways who's gonna tell but me so two two three wild uh, 223 I can still shoot 556 five, if I want to it just won't be as accurate and again the primary arm scope this is a, a 4 to 4 to 16 and that's perfect for long range I mean basically the same type of principle I can still shoot up close I can shoot still shoot far um, I don't have a bolt and charging handle because I switch them between guns like I said uh, so I don't really dedicate them to one specific upper or gun. Uh, I do have, this is a legit Harris bipod with a real uh, arms mount in there. So like I said guys, you don't have to go crazy with that. And the next up is a, like a Daniel Defense type of um, Block 2 clone that I've got here. And look at this rail guys, it has the white numbers. Uh, underneath, I believe on one of the sides, it has Daniel Defense markings. So you wouldn't even know you don't have to pay $500 for a rail that looks so dang similar. And I know this stuff is strong. This is heavy, hard metal. And of course, you need your. This is also a clone CQD type of steel plate right there, a sling mount. Uh, this is a. Um, it's not a, a big brand type of uh, LPVO. I believe it's a uh, Vector Optics, one of their new S lines, S6 series line. And the glass is crystal clear. Once again, you don't have to spend a lot of money on optics, lights, lasers. 
This thing probably cost me 150 bucks, and it's as good as anything. I even got some uh, some aluminum uh, quick detach rails on here. That's very stable. There's nothing to go. There's nothing wrong with going the cheap route as long as you know what you're doing. Look at here. This doesn't this look like the uh, type of um, flashlight that looks just like it's on the clone builds? And look at this. It looks like a peck or a uh, a uh, <clears throat> what's the other type of laser light? But you know what I mean. Look at this. So uh, the only thing that's legit is this uh, this quick detach suppressor mounted uh, bird cage. A flash hider right there. Uh, this is, uh, I believe that's a true brand right there. I forget who makes that. Another CQD sling mount. This is a real EOTech, of course. Don't skip on your real um, optics because if you go to cheap route on optics, you know, you will have some accuracy anomalies going on with that. So I did go legit on that. Um, this is a, a uh, clone type of um, uh, charging handle, dual style charging handle. Uh, backup sights, that's airsoft, but they work just fine. They stand stand in place while I'm shooting, so I'm going to count it as good. Uh, of course, when you're doing clone builds, you want to try to get as close as you can uh, to the real thing. So uh, this, this is a, um, I believe it's a Palmetto State Armory M4 carbine lower. Um, this one, I, it is a binary trigger. It has the uh, <clears throat> Fostec Echo Sport trigger. So it goes safe, semi, and then you use the paddle because it's the sport, so it's the economy version. So um, right now it's in the binary position. If you push it over, it would be semi, true semi. And on this lower look, it even has a burst, but it doesn't go all the way over there. And because of the pistol rule, I know you guys are probably asking me why I don't I use a stock or a pistol brace. That's because pistol braces that are at this time basically illegal so you gotta remove your pistol brace to be compliant and that's ridiculous and I know how it works you know that sucks uh, this is another clone ECM type of um, pistol grip and another clone style CQD uh, type of plate that they would use on the real M4s and um, these types of Mark 18s and stuff but yeah guys I hope you guys understand that you don't have to spend an arm and a leg on these types of guns if you really wanted to build it, you can build it. So just uh, try to take my example. Um, please like and subscribe. I hope you like the channel and the show. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.